Hey friends, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna take a look at something kinda simple, which is showing the selected scene in Ableton Live to Touch OSC. So let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can put this together. Now, if you haven't checked out some of my previous videos about connecting OSC messages with Ableton Live and Touch OSC, uh, you're gonna wanna go back and do that because a lot of what we're gonna do is built on that. But today we're also going to use a patch that I've put together that you can download via the link below. It's also available on my GitHub page and website. Uh, and you're gonna use this in Ableton Live in order to show the selected scenes. And this is pretty straightforward stuff. So the way that I imagine this working is you have this patch, perhaps you can dive in and copy that patch, place it in something that you're using. Otherwise, you could also just put this patch on your master track. You don't really need to have this on other tracks. So you can have some of the other track information that's being sent via an OSC message in Ableton Live, have those patches on your track, and then have this just on your master track. So let's start in Touch OSC and put the template together. Here I'm gonna hit my handy dandy fit button and you can see I've already got my iPad connected to the computer. I'm gonna right click here and let's add a label. And for this purpose, we're gonna make this nice and big because this is showing the selected scene. Now you would imagine that there would probably be a lot of stuff down here in your template as well. So this is probably how it would look uh, once you're building your own template. But all we're gonna deal with today is just this label to show the selected scene. So let's go ahead and select this and we're gonna add a really simple OSC message. And what this message is gonna be is called scene. So we can get rid of name here, select this, this constant, and on the right side, it's just scene and that's it. And I'm going to call this label something because I like to be organized. Scene selected. And that's all we need. This is going to be sending a string to touch OSC, this text that we'll be able to see on our device. So this is all we need for right now. So now let's jump into Ableton Live. Nothing special going on here. This is just a basic default template. But first thing I want to do is name some of these. So let's just go ahead and give these a name, which we'll call this song one, vamp, chorus, and how about build up? And so we have these, and what we want is when we select one of these and have it uh, selected for the next play, that's going to then show it on our device. So there's nothing else on these tracks, but we're gonna put a max for live patch here on the master, and so assuming you've downloaded it already, go ahead and select that, and you're gonna drag it over here to your master. And this is what it looks like, Ableton Scenes. So we've talked about this before, the IP address and the port. This is your iPad. And then the OSC port that you've already established. And you can already see that here, I'm selecting through, and it's showing me automatically everything that I need. And also on the iPad, it's showing it. That's how quickly this thing worked. All you had to do was drop this in and it's working. But in case you wanna dive in a little deeper, let's open this up here. This uh, is going to allow sound to pass through this device. And this, of course, is establishing the IP address and the port that we're sending to. But let's go ahead and check out this. This is the sub patcher. So let's open this up. And this information, a lot of this, I had some terrific help from some folks on the Max for Live forums. So thank you to them. It's really just a thing. You can Google a lot out there, friends. If you need some help on stuff, just try Googling it and check out all the interesting stuff that other folks have established. Of course, there is the Discord server and the Facebook group, uh, but you know, I just asked for some help and it was right there. So people are great out there. 
So this one I've highlighted that is blue, this is that OSC message that we were setting up before. So if you call this something else, uh, or if you had multiple of these, because you, for some reason, were showing different things that you selected across different devices, uh, this is where you would change that. So of course it's called scene because that's what we're using, but you could have called it anything else. And then it's sending out. And here, this is just so that we can see what's going on when we're live in uh, our uh, transport here. Uh, when we're working in Ableton, we can see what we have selected. Uh, and we don't just have to look at our iPad. But of course, the purpose of this whole thing is to send this information to our Touch OSC device. And that's that. Nothing special today. It's really straightforward, really easy working with Ableton Live. And I know this is a question I've had, I probably like three or four people have asked about this. Uh, definitely check out that last video about Ableton Live and showing other OSC messages like the transport information, whether you're playing or not, track name, stuff like that. But hopefully this helps your template and it helps you develop whatever it is that you're doing in Touch OSC. So hopefully you learned something today and you can like this video. Again, be sure to subscribe to the channel as we discover more with all this music tech stuff. So thanks for watching and as always, I'll see y'all next time. And because it was a popular demand, here's the beat. It's a hot day here.